remember, in the black operation, no crime has ever occurred. It's all about protecting the FBI plea bargain they made on my ex-boyfriend. That is a deportation judgment on my ex-boyfriend that was signed by an immigration judge out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ten years, and ICE still has not deported my ex-boyfriend. Everybody else gets deported. I've been in New Mexico. I have seen Homeland Security um, deport people. I've even seen them extradite people from the United States into Mexico. Now, why does my ex not get deported? Well, this actually comes from a um, retired agent with the National Security Agency here in El Paso, Texas, who had stalked me at the library a couple months ago. So here's why they're not doing it. They are not doing it because if he gets deported, my ex-boyfriend will get killed by his own government or by his own um, terrorist organization that he is affiliated with. He will get killed. See, the FBI plea bargained my ex-boyfriend. And so when they plea bargain him, they want information or intel, intelligence on the country of Iran or any other Middle Eastern country or any terrorist organization that he's affiliated with. So in exchange for that, they're just forgetting about everything, including not executing a deportation judgment. So because if he gets deported that he will get killed for giving such information to the U.S. government. Now, in, in the case of Iran, he would that would be um, him giving enemy, you know, him giving information on Iran to an enemy of the United States because Iran and the United States do not get along. Assuming, of course, that he really is from Iran, I'm not totally convinced on that. I've made that very, very well known that I actually think that he is Egyptian rather than from Iran or has some links into Egypt. So perhaps we're not dealing with the Islamic Republic of Iran. We're actually perhaps maybe dealing with Al-Qaeda. Both could be true. But Homeland Security is intentionally not deporting my ex-boyfriend to protect him from getting killed by his own government, by the terrorists. Now, everybody else gets deported. Now, what do they do instead? They have wiped out, wiped out witnesses to this case. Most of the witnesses are my family. So I am really, really, um, let's just say, not happy. I'm fucking pissed off as hell that he is getting protection by the United States government and my whole family gets, gets wiped out. See? Wiped out. I get attacked on a daily basis all to protect this damn jackass that thought he was supposed to be in this country anyway and has a deportation judgment signed by an immigration judge. Now, that's not the only thing that they're doing. The state of Texas is intentionally not executing a, deep, or a um, parole violation, a warrant for a parole violation. They are intentionally not extraditing him to the state of Texas on a parole violation to protect the same. The state of California is intentionally not arresting or prosecuting him based on Medi-Cal fraud linked into a paternity test scandal. He gets scapegoated out of his federal charges, and the only thing that the government of the United States does is attack the rest of us who are the innocent civilians not in, in actively involved in hostilities. So this is a scandal between a terrorist organization and our own government. They also wouldn't want anyone in the international community to know. So, you know, he is supposed to be reporting into ICE in Southern California. So keep your stun gun, machine gun, AK-47, or any other automatic weapon handy. There's real criminals and terrorists out there, like my ex-boyfriend, and lots of police brutality and political corruption. Now remember, in the black operation, of course, no crime has ever occurred. It's all about protecting this FBI plea bargain they made on my ex. See you next time.